I'll show you a method for cleaning a watch without taking apart the entire Chances movement. Chances are if you take apart the movement, you won't get it back together. Before you go through all this, I'll show you a method without taking apart the movement. In order to clean the movement, we'll need to remove the hands and the dial. The dial can be very fragile, so you don't want to put these in any chemicals. I'll show you in reverse order how this works. Once I've got the face and the hands off, I put it in paint thinner. This watch has been running for about three days, and you can see all the dirt that's come out of it. It's all in the bottom. That is a lot of dirt that came out of it, and what we do is we just let it run in there, and as it runs, it knocks all the dirt out. Pull this out and dry it off. Soak up all the paint thinner. Now we'll blow everything out. As soon as we have everything blown out, you can just see everything running real nice and clean. The paint thinner does add some lubricant to the balance wheel. Because the pivots are so easy to reach, we're gonna add oil to four of the pivots of the train wheels. Mobius 8000 is the correct viscosity. Without it, it won't work. We'll add it to the pivots on both sides. Turn over the watch and get the other side. We'll add a small amount of oil to the pivots here. We'll need to add the hour wheel back. If you don't pull this one off, it'll just come right out. We'll add the washer that holds the face up. On the dial, there's two pins. We'll place that on. On the side of the movement, there's going to be two screws that are going to hold the face up. Tighten up those screws. Place the hour hand on. Press it into place. Next, the minute hand goes on. And press it into place. Then the second hand. Push the second hand on. Move the crown. On the back, there's typically a screw that you have to loosen to get the crown out. Place the movement into the case. Place the crown back in. Tighten the screw so the crown doesn't come place out. Place the anti-magnetic ring back in. We'll put on the back. Now we have a watch that was not working, working you can again. see all that dirt that we got out of there. Now I will say, if you've got a family heirloom, take it to a professional watch person. If you're just trying to get your watch to run again, this'll work. Here's another shot of all that dirt at the bottom.